Yeah, for the guys too. I thought that was him. What the hell is he doing here?
Somebody started the thread call. Michael Foley's single brain cell at work. I was deceived. Number three is Jeremy Ramsliff's Lucky Jericho. Billy Moore is his trainer in the Chalkers. Robert Hilton, owned by Rivoli Stable. Todd Fletcher, the trainer for the Chalkers. Scratch five, 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 six, four, four, play. Owned by Jack Oxley, Harold Werner, LLC, AWC Stables. Matt Lee, 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 Number seven is Wood Court, owned by Contreras Stable Incorporated. Oh, 
Congratulations. Thank you. Someone start, <laughs> or I'm gonna start walking. Or big, big win, dominant win. Good to see one like this. Yeah, um, I've always had a tremendous amount of faith in this horse. Showed you why today. Um, everything he's done has always been very professional. Seems like it's come very easily to him. Um, got a wonderful setup today. Was in a great spot turning up the backside. Humberto and the horse took care of the rest. And certainly seems like he relished the distance here at a mile and eight. It didn't seem like it was an issue at all. Obviously, a mile and eight in the El Camino Real Derby off of the layoff handled that nicely. Um, I didn't think it would be obviously quite quite the same sort of competition last time as we faced today, but um, yeah. And some options for this horse moving forward. Where, where do you think he might go next? Um, <clears throat> obviously, he's raked up some triple crown points, but I believe his best days are, are ahead of him on the grass. I know you talked about that turf. Yeah. Uh, probably the American turf. Would, if it were up to me, that would be the likely choice. What happened in the early stages of the race? It didn't look, they weren't going that fast up front. I mean, did you feel it? He was where you wanted him? Yeah, he, he was. I thought he would be five to six lengths off of the leaders today. That's about where he was. So, Are you concerned at all about um, the ship? No. No. Uh, he handled it nicely when we went to San Francisco. He was coming off a short layoff. But handled a lot of things that day. A ship, a mile and eight, the synthetic surface, similar to what he did here today. You think it's probably making grass, but but that he's he's a horse we're going to be hearing more. I think he's just, he, obviously. I mean, his record speaks for itself. His only unfortunate defeat was in the Breeders' Cup. Still ran sneaky good that day. Um, I think he's as good a three-year-old as there is. Granted, it's been on. He's shown it on synthetic and on the turf, but. At the end of the year, I think he'll still be in that conversation. I mean, you're not one to really get blow up your horses and get really carried away with them. When you say one of the best three-year-olds, and you're talking about any surface. Any surface, correct, yes. Yeah. Um, I think he showed it here in the last couple of starts. Uh, obviously showed this summer how good he was. Uh, obviously winning in California in dominant fashion. It seems like he's done it here in the Midwest in dominant fashion. And uh, it would not, like we were talking about the other day, you have no problem saying no to the race that most people find the hardest race to ever say no to. Uh, it's, I just has a, I thought his works, I've seen his works on the dirt and I think they're decent, satisfactory, but Derby's a whole different sort of an animal, you know? Different, I shouldn't say a whole different sort of beast, you know? Um, we'll enjoy this for right now, but like I said, I would prefer to keep him on the grass. Will you keep it in the back of your mind, depending on how he works at Churchill? I'll keep it in the way in the back of my mind. 
Awesome. Thanks. Thank All right, you. guys. Thanks. Michael. Now, can you ask him about the race? Yes. Uh, obviously, obviously, this horse was very well intended. He's, uh, he never been that good. Uh, he was a very good condition. You know, when I saw the video yesterday, uh, when I saw the video yesterday, how he was uh, galloping around the track, he was very happy. Um, Michael does an amazing job with his horse. He knows where to put his horses. So part of the job is, you know, uh, it's a thanks to him and uh, happy for, uh, for the owner for the such a great opportunity. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. doesn't run we don't know yeah and you were you were really happy at the end of that race can you just kind of speak about the emotions you had winning that well obviously you know uh, I've been through in a tough tough situation tough period for me I was a uh, closing to my 2000 winner uh, I'm glad I accomplished today um, such a, an important day like this one and uh, you know um, I would say thank you to my family all the people around me my agent and all the all the people support me hi congratulations you. Right, this one I think when you won, well, I, I find out that my, my family, they was preparing something for me at home and, uh, you know, I had the chat with my wife after the race and my kids, they was very happy. They showed me what they prepared for me. So that's uh, that's huge to be a dad and, uh, you know, be a hero for them. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's fantastic. But this was your 2001? 2001, right? yeah. So we, the, the road to for 3000 just started. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you.